Before Fetty Wap dropped Trap Queen in 2014 and it became the unofficial song of the summer for 2015, before he was collaborating with the likes of Rihanna, Kanye West and Trey Songz, before he lost his eye due to glaucoma, Fetty Wap grew up in the New Jersey projects. He had only been recording music for a little over two years before he made his big splash. At the time of this recording he's only 25 years young and has two children and he himself he lost vision in his left eye after an accident when he was a child resulted in glaucoma. He almost lost both, he's lucky to have one. My name is Michael McCredden and welcome to Before They Are Famous, documenting the life of Fetty Wap prior to fame, here for you guys. In this video it was requested by the subscribers, you guys were asking for this one a whole lot, so here you go. Yeah, he lost me eye. Fetty Wap was born Willie Maxwell on June 7, 1990 in Pedersen, New Jersey. When he was a child he was involved in an accident which resulted in the development of cognitive glaucoma in both of his eyes. The doctors were unable to save both of his eyes and now he wears an ocular prosthesis when he chooses to do so. Which isn't a whole lot of the time. Typically he's just walking around there, no eye. He spoke about this in depth with DJ Self over at SiriusXM. Um, what happened is when I was little I was, um, I forgot what they called it, I, I was, I was, um, I had gone to a little accident, you know what I'm saying, and it gave me a uh, congenital glaucoma in both of my eyes, you know what I'm saying, the mm -hmm. doctor, the doctor saved one for me, so I was blessed to have, I was blessed to have my vision, you know what I mean? That's it. That's the story. See. Willie was raised in a housing project in Patterson, New Jersey, and he is of Haitian descent. He was nicknamed Fetty, which is slang for money, as he was always known for making loot. WAP was later added to the end of his name in tribute to his favorite rapper, Gucci Mane. Fetty Wap began taking interest in music in 2012. He initially was just a rapper, but later decided to start singing as well because he wanted to do something different. He launched his career alongside Montana Bucks and P. Dice in the hip hop group known as Remy Boys. In 2014, he released singles Addicted, Zuvir, and he also teamed up with the Remy Boys for 1738. 1738, you know. His breakout song Trap Queen was inspired by a real relationship he had with a woman. Initially the song started out as a freestyle, three verses came out of Fetty's head and then Fetty posted it as a rough copy. From there he realized he had something great and the beat he was really excited about so he decided to work on it more and then he released the radio version. The song was released in 2014. It was first uploaded to his SoundCloud account and it spread like wildfire. The song went from the streets of North Jersey to radio stations across the country. This song had zero promotion, it had no rollout, it was all word of mouth. Trap Queen is a big success having peaked at the number 1 on Billboard Hot 100, at the number 2 on Billboard's Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs and at number 1 on Billboard's Hot Rap Song. At the time of this recording Fetty Wap is working on his debut mixtape or solo album but he's had some hold ups, it hasn't come out as it was scheduled because he wants to make sure it's perfect. He stated this shit doesn't happen to people from where I'm from, a lot of people don't get the opportunity so I'ma be a superstar until my star don't burn no more. And the rest of the story, well the rest of the story you know because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCrad, thanks for checking out my personal channel. Other bios are around me right now, be sure to click on one of those. We got Kanye West, we got Drake, we got Riff Raff. On top of that I do internet celebrities like Dan Bilzerian, Jen Selter, Jenna Marbles, PewDiePie. And then we got your traditional A-listers, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Carrey, Russell Peters, Russell Brand. Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Kim Kardashian, I've done a lot. Alright guys, my name is Michael McCrudd, be sure to hit that subscribe button, let me know who you want me to do in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video.